So let's say you want to use AI Toolkit and you don't have a GPU at home. Or maybe you just don't have a GPU with enough VRAM or you want a little extra compute to train extra models. In this case, you can use a cloud provider. One of the ones that I recommend is RunPod. If you haven't signed up for RunPod yet, I'll have an affiliate link in the description. Please use that to sign up. It just helps support this channel, AI Toolkit, and all the work that I do here. If not, no big deal. Once you get to the dashboard, you're gonna to wanna to come over here to pods. The pods are gonna show you all the different GPUs that they have available from older models to newer models. Currently, at the time of this video, I think the best bangs for the buck are probably gonna be your 4090, your 5090, or your RTX Pro 6000s. The RTX Pro 6000s will train pretty much anything. It's 96 gigabytes of VRAM and it's fast. It's a great value for the money. I'm just gonna do an RTX 5090 for now, just to show you how it works. Once you get here, you're gonna to wanna to change template. Come into the search bar and type Ostris, O-S-T-R-I-S. From here, there should only be one. If there's more, just look for this one. AI Toolkit dash Ostris dash UI dash official. This is the one that I officially maintain and will be the most up to date if there are any more. Once you do that, this is ready to go, but I highly recommend coming to edit template, come down to the environment variables, and on AI Toolkit Auth, the default just says password. You can enter your password here, or you can use one of your secrets that you set up with RunPod. I like to use my secret. When you first visit the UI, it's going to ask you for your password. This is that password that it's asking for. This just protects it so if anyone's sniffing ports on the internet, they don't come across your pod and have free reign to just do whatever they want with your trainings. So I highly recommend you set this. Then you click Set Overrides, come down, Deploy On Demand. This doesn't take too long, but you just wanna wait for it to finish up. Once you see the green light, that means our pod's ready to go. You can click on it, and then over here you see HTTP service. This will take you to the AI Toolkit web UI. From here, you have your password. You can see here how to set it. This is what we went over earlier. The default is password. So if you don't set your password, everyone will know your password. We have our GPU that we selected right here. You can come in, add your data set, start a new training job, and you're ready to go. Once you get done training, be sure you come back over to the pods and stop your pod. And terminate. This way, you're not wasting any money with it just sitting there. Using AI Toolkit on RunPod or other cloud providers is one of the fastest ways to get started because it pulls everything down from a Docker image. So you don't have to worry about dependencies and installing everything. You just spin it up and go. And again, if you haven't signed up with RunPod before, please use the affiliate link in the description. That's it. I'm Ostris, and I'll see you guys next time.